Sonny Erickson, you've really impressed me. I can't lie about this one, and you've impressed me so much that I'm making a short video about it. I own a Sony Ericsson Xperia Arc. In fact, it's that that's recording this video. I love it. I think it's a fantastically designed, it's so slim, the camera is brilliant, the screen is great. It has had some speed issues, but that could be due to the amount of content I've put on it. But then again, a lot of the smartphones I've used, I've experienced lag. It's something we're not going to get away from. But what you've really impressed me with is the updates. You have kept bringing updates for the Arc. Now, there is a negative side to that, to the fact that there needs to be updates because something is wrong. But your latest update has been fantastic. Now, this is the one where you've increased the sound, uh, you've changed some of the interface and what have you, and I am really, really impressed. The calendar application looks better. The new message notification, the actual notification that you've got one, two, three, five text messages over the messaging symbol is brilliant. There's more themes, which I like, although probably you could have added a few more. And I think others will agree who are watching this that since the days of the Sony X10, there was a lot of talk about Sony bringing updates, but they seem to have got their act together with this one. And the Arc hasn't been the biggest seller. It's been affected by many things, including the Japanese earthquake, in terms of the supply. But I've got to hand it to them in terms of the updates that they have done, because they've been on the ball, um, and the updates seem to have worked without problems. There is a drawback, however. They don't seem to do over-the-air updates. You can search it from the settings menu, but you have to connect it to the PC companion link. Now, I would class myself as a little bit more tech savvy than the average, and to be honest, even I've had a few problems. You have to connect it from media mass storage mode to media transfer mode. It doesn't like it. You do it again, you do it again. I was using a third-party USB cable. I eventually got it working with the official Sony Ericsson cable and I think a little bit of chance. So it's a bit of a pain in that respect, but the update process went smoothly and there is still some work you can do. Get the over-the-air updates. People are done with the days of connecting a device via a physical cable. People hardly switch on their home computer or their laptop. They do it all from their smartphone. And at the moment, I think you're missing the point of a smartphone. If people are out and about using the phone on a daily basis, then they want to update their phone when they're out and about. And with unlimited data tariffs and what have you, they can do that. So roll it out as an over-the-air update and don't limit people to actually having to be connected to a physical PC. But I've got to say, well done, because you have improved on the speed at which you roll out updates, the quality of the updates, and I think people can have more confidence in you now because of the updates that you're performing. So 